everybody, it's Pas here from Carp Specialist. Many thanks for watching a new Carpicast episode. It's the 48th episode and it's the 13th of October. And as you can see, it's bright and sunny here in the Netherlands. I'm uh, making the video myself this time. The camera lady, uh, Audrey, unfortunately has Corona. But uh, it, there's a lot of carp news to talk about, so I'll kick off straight away. In Belgium, at Annie's Lake, at the Carpenhoeven Estate, it's really popular with English anglers. And uh, this weekend we had Yuri and his uh, father Rob coming over for a weekend's fishing. And he had a lot of fun and they caught 12 carp in the weekend. And as you can see in the photos, there's some beautifully scaled mirror carp as well, which they caught. So uh, good fishing for them. Also great fishing for um, Edwin, who fished uh, Windmill Lake for three weeks in a row. And he did very well there. He only fished uh, the mornings uh, he, because he brought his girlfriend. In the mornings he fished one rod only for about four hours each day. And he managed to catch uh, in three weeks time 35 carp of which eight over 15 kilos. And the biggest one was 23 kilos. So only fishing mornings with one rod, just baiting up quite heavily. And of course uh, having loads of fun together with your girlfriend in the environment in the uh, local area that's a great choice so a uh, good technique for Edwin and very impressive catches a great fishing as well is at Paris carp fishing at Etang Idil Paris carp fishing is well known for its luxurious accommodations and beautiful lake sites um, and of course also attractive carp stock the owner of uh, Paris carp fishing works with a, a very well-known reputed uh, fish farmer and the fish farmer had uh, a 26.2 kilo big carp in his nets um, last week and he, uh, the owner of Paris carp fishing managed to obtain this fish and it's now swimming at Itang Idil. The nice thing about Paris carp fishing it is that it's perfect for family fishing holidays with the luxurious accommodation but also has uh, big big fish in it with each, each lake having carp over 25 kilos it's also uh, uh, well worth the recommendation if you you're into big fish so great combination there a bit the same at Estate Lake uh, there we received two nice photos from Thorsten he caught a 20 kilo common carp and a 24 kilo mirror carp from Estate Lake they are the same, the hospitality from Julie is perfect, she speaks English fluently. Uh, great surroundings of course with the chateau in the background, uh, lots of privacy and there's a great carp stock to be caught as well. With, uh, you, you've got a chance of action but also there's plenty of big funds swimming around. Uh, Michelle's Lake, Michelle sent us some lovely photos as well. Uh, as you can see the fish at Michelle's Lake are looking excellent. Fishing is not too easy at the moment, but as you can see, the rewards are big and uh, everybody is enjoying themselves at Michel's. Um, then we have Etang de Galois. Uh, Etang de Galois, there's a huge common carp caught this week, 32.2 uh, kilos. It's a well-known common carp. I caught it myself a couple of years ago at 29 kilos approximately. And it's great to see that it now grew on to be 32.2 kilos. Um, in total 134 uh, uh, carp per court this week, including so the big one and 5 other carp over 25 kilos and exactly 20 carp over 20 kilos and a beautiful koi as well. The biggest news from Galois this week is that there's new ponton being built at swim number 7 which looks excellent, it's really durable and it's uh, made by a professional company as everything at Galois the investments are made and uh, improvements are done. So that's it's really nice. We're looking forward to welcoming the total Corda crew next week at Etang de Galois. So we hope to send you some good news and big fish photos from the Corda crew later on in next Carpicast episodes. At Lago di Picetto we had some nice news as well. We had Barry from the Netherlands coming over to make a great video which I'll include in the posting and also we had Dan Cleary coming over from uh, the Carpology magazine and he wrote a beautiful review as well. So I'll copy both links for you. At Carp Farm in the Netherlands we had a great week as well. Uh, we had an exclusive rental by German anglers. They caught some nice fish up to 8 meters in depth and uh, several PBs were broken as well. So the guys had loads of fun. Beautiful fish as you can see in the photos and uh, they did really really great. At Livardier close to Le Mans also some good catches. Thomas, the um, head bailiff, uh, he sent us some 
beautiful fish coming over at 24 and a half kilo and 19 and a half and 18 and 17 kilos and our good friend Timon Doctor uh, fishes the lake this week and he, so far he's caught a 16 a 21 and a 21.6 kilo so he's really on a roll at Chatelaine we have some um, anglers coming over as well from the Dutch car brand Faith and Ronnie from Faith caught a 21.7 kilo mirror carp uh, already this week and uh, in total there's about 10 carp being caught throughout uh, all around the lake so that looks very well and promising this was uh, the carpy cast of uh, this week we hope to see you again of course next week with more news if there's any questions just drop them below in the comments and I will be very happy to answer them. See you all next week. <laughs> bye bye.